thanks for joining me. Today is a very big day. We're going off to pick up my Royal Enfield Continental GT. Um, I haven't got a motorcycle trailer, so we're improvising at the minute. I shall be the leader. Are we ready? You can tell I was in the Boy Scouts. <laughs> Here's Alex finally tuning our state-of-the-art motorcycle trailer. And there's Zach there. What are you doing, Zach? I'm controller of operations. I'm delighted to hear that. Okay, all aboard. Are we ready, boys? We are yes. indeed. Right. Do you know what? I'll put the car into gear and we might actually get there a bit quicker. Um, is that horse box following us? I hope so. Oh, that's a good sign. All right. We're leaving to go and collect the baby. The new baby of the household. Now, boys, I don't want you to feel jealous that there's going to be another member of the family. All right? Yeah. Okay. Far All right. What a rotten day to be picking up a motorbike. Can you imagine if I didn't have the horse box? <laughs> Quick stop at the local hardware yard to get tie down straps. Just as well I thought of that. Otherwise we'd be trying to rally together bits of string or something from the motorbike shop. We're on the way to Mega Bikes. Um, that's the shop in Dublin. Um, I'm not endorsed by them by any means um, But I rang around the whole country looking for this Royal Enfield Continental GT uh, in the chrome. It's the um, Chrome edition. I think it's called Mr. Clean and um, I couldn't find one anywhere. Uh, we are in the middle of a pandemic um, However, mega bikes uh, rang me back a few days after I'd rang them as well and they said we found one there's a three to four week lead time, so I think they're getting it from India. Even though I was told by other places that the factory in India had closed because of the pandemic. But anyway, uh, Megabikes got back, said, yeah, we've found one and uh, we'll give you a shout when it's here. So we're on the way to collect it now in only two weeks after I've ordered. So it's even ahead of time um, and I got it at a great price. So it was a no-brainer, absolutely delighted, and uh, I got the email this morning from Kieran at uh, Megabikes to say the bike has arrived. So that was a lovely email to get. So, are you excited, boys? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. What about you, Zach? Can't wait to do a wheelie on this. <laughs> My dibs first ride. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'd say we're all going to be fighting over this one. So um, if you haven't subscribed, by the way, yes, to my channel, please do, um, because there's going to be lots of videos coming very soon, um, including this one, but there'll be um, the first ride uh, review, uh, there'll be the one month review, and uh, also uh, something which I searched long and hard for um, is why I chose this bike to complement my FGR 1300. Um, as a second bike. The reason I chose the Royal Enfield Continental GT um, to be my second bike. So please subscribe, tune in, and um, those videos will be with you very soon. But in the meantime, we're nearly there. Sun's coming out now. Is that an omen? <laughs> okay, so we're just approaching the shop here. Can't tell you the level of excitement in the car. But this really is first impressions. I've never actually seen one of these motorbikes in the flesh, as it were. Um, I've only ever seen pictures of them online and read reviews online, so I'm sort of totally blind buying. So I just hope I love it when I see it. Anyway, here we are. Big moment. All will be revealed very soon. Very nervous moment. I really hope I love it. I'm in trouble if I don't. I've paid for it. <laughs> oh, gee, look at this. Look at this. Oh. oh my God. Look at it. That's the baby. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. And I am in love. I love it. That is just... Oh my God. That is unbelievable looks even better in the flesh. I cannot, it's, it's taking my breath away actually. This is exactly how I want to feel when I saw it for the first time. 
Yeah. Oh, well, look, there's a few guys I Right now you've seen my reaction, I've got to put my mask back on. Uh -huh. Wow, this is, this is, this is the moment I've been waiting for since I ordered it two weeks ago. Unbelievable. Ah, good call on the chrome. Good call. The chrome is beautiful, Oh yeah. The gold black and chrome. My eldest son, Alex here, he's a quality control manager. <laughs> He's just making sure everything's all right. We're all good. All good, my hood. We are all good. You've got some pure gas. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? It's a work of art. Absolutely love the black stripe down the fuel tank. Yeah, and gold, yeah. yellow, whatever my eyesight's doing. Should we take this baby home? Please. She's in. That's the main thing. Now we'll, we'll pad her safely. I don't want to get a scratch on her just yet. We made it. That was a long journey, a long old day, but worth it. We've brought her home. And she's still standing upright. That was my biggest fear. The straps worked. Brilliant. That was close. Thank God for the bar. Right. Um, plan B. How we doing? We're nearly on the, on the ramp. Still on the ramp. Okay, we have touched down. We're on home ground anyway. Um. Woo! <laughs> We're home. Right, wow. Oh, do you know what? I think I might put her to bed for the night and then uh, put the boys to bed as well and then uh, spend the day with her tomorrow. But. First impressions, I am absolutely head over heels with the colour scheme. I'm delighted I chose this colour scheme. I told you on the journey on the way down, I'd never even seen one of these in the flesh before. So I was really apprehensive, really quite nervous about what the chrome was going to look like. I'd forgot about this beautiful black, black stripe down the, the tank. I love that. I love the twin dials. Um, I've ordered a few little things. I don't know whether to call them mods because they're only sort of uh, cosmetic uh, accessories, if you like. I've ordered the little windscreen to go in front of there. I've ordered the um, black mirrors which fit on the end of here and come up. Um, and I've ordered the single seat to make it a bit more cafe racer style. I think I'll give the boys a spin on the back of it first before I put the single seat on. But then I always have the, the FGR 1300. But uh, for now, thanks a million for tuning in, spending the day with us, going to pick up this rather gorgeous Royal Enfield Continental GT 650.